Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I have an opportunity to test drive a um, Juki Overlock, the 6900 series. Uh, usually the machines are 68, but this is 69. 69 is heavy duty, like walking food machine. This is the, uh, when it comes to overlock, it's like the bottom feet, like any other industrial machine, but this is a top and bottom feet, meaning you have the feed dog on the bottom and you have a walking foot on top, and I'm gonna go over it. It's a 6916J. 6916J, five thread, one, two, three, four, five. You have two needles and you have the three thread overlock here and you have the safety switch on the side. We have tested, this is going to a customer, we have tested on a denim jeans, two layers but I have a bunch of other fabrics that I wanna test, but before I test, I'm gonna show you the machine itself. So the machine is assembled, as I said, it's going to a customer. Um, it's on a fully submerged lake, I mean fully submerged table. It's set up on a T-leg with wheels, which you don't have to do. This customer wanted a T-leg with wheels so it could move it around. This is a foot lifter, you could see right here. And when I say foot lifter, um, let me lock the foot. When I say foot lifter, if you see, when I lift, you have two things. You have the foot and you have the top feed dog or top feeder that moves up and down. Um, it's um, already set up. It comes with oil. The whole oil goes inside here when you receive the machine. Um, this is 6916 and the class is FF6-700, FF6-700, obviously they come with, um, with a lot of different subclasses. Um, we had installed the brushless new tech motor on this machine, um, brushless, quiet, and this is the speed, you could go speed up and down. You have the foot lifter here, you have the motor put on right here. Um, the machine comes with table, again legs, obviously the machine, the thread stand. We had set up the machine with the regular T40 thread, a T27 thread. But this could go, this machine could go up to T105. Like very heavy stuff for denim jeans, for canvas, for leather. No problem doing all of those stuff, okay? So let me go over the stuff that comes with the machine and we'll take it from there uh, obviously the certificate of the um you have a screwdriver long screwdriver bunch of tools kit tweezers small tiny screwdriver the needle that it comes with is a uh, 21 uh, size 21, really heavy, almost like a nail, you know, for heavy stuff. Uh, and with a bunch of other stuff, um, dust cover and some manual. And let's go ahead and start the machine. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't know what is this here, but I'm gonna, um, we're gonna learn. All right, so we're gonna start, you see? This is nothing for this machine. This is very easy going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do heavy stuff. Like you see this pelon, like this is, um, what do you call this? I don't know, not a pelon. This is a really heavy. See when I put, see, easily goes underneath. Not only that, I'm gonna add, look at that, I'm gonna add maybe um, two layers of these heavy duty denim jeans to it, see? And just go, see? No problem whatsoever. Look at that, done, All right? Not only that, if you want to go ahead and do other stuff, look at this canvas. 
like it like rock heavy look at this i'm gonna do three, three layers and i'm gonna start and this thread is not even the thread that i really want to use the thread that i really want to use on this machine is a heavy duty machine uh, see heavy duty machine uh, heavy duty thread now the reason that it broke right here is because of my thread. You see, it acted very good on the heavy duty stuff like this, but when it comes to really heavy stuff, the needles, the threads, I mean, the threads have to be uh, either nylon or polyester. Let me show you how this works right here. I'm sorry, all of this, I'm gonna get rid of all of these things. All right, let me open this up. See, there is a chute right here that will shoot up the, here you go. All of these things that you see here, this is the diagram, by the way. The diagram that helps you with the um, threading. And here is the, where the fifth thread comes in. And there's a diagram back there for the fifth thread. If you want to open up the foot, there is a lever right here that you take. Let me bring this up. And you push this up, and then you open this one to the side. So this is what I'm talking about. You see this one right here? This is the top feeder. This is the one that when you sew, you see, move the fabric from the top. Obviously, the foot is really heavy duty too. And as you see here, two needle got, and it's good that this happened while we're doing these videos. The bad thing is that I don't have my eyes with me right now. I mean, to um, thread it. So when, when you wanna thread this one, when you get a heavy stuff, heavy thread, the thing that you don't wanna do, you don't wanna cut anything here. You wanna put your thread here, cut, here, tie the thread to this thread and pull through from all the stuff here. So like this one, I have both, all the loopers are good in the bottom, but the top needles, the thread broke. The reason is because the thread was not strong enough to do the, um, that heavy canvas that we did. But the bottom one, since it's not hitting the, um, uh, it's not hitting the, um, the fabric, doesn't have any problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop the video right here. I'm gonna get some T105 thread. I'm gonna thread it and then we're gonna continue. Uh, so far, thank you for watching. I'm gonna have somebody do it because it's gonna take a long time, but I'm. At the end, I'm gonna do some either T105 thread like um, or nylon thread, and we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching.